Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to export an SVG file from a website. And an SVG file is actually a scalable vector graphic. So it can be, you can manipulate them or change them around in a program like Adobe After, or uh, Adobe Illustrator. I'm actually going to be using a program called Inkscape and it's a free open source program. So you can go ahead and download it. I'll have the links to Inkscape down in the bottom. Uh, also, if you have the Adobe Cloud, you can use Illustrator as well to, to edit these. So, uh, all right, let's get started. So I, I want to pull, say I wanted to pull this icon off. It's not actually an image. So if I right click, I can't do anything. This SVG is an image, so I can actually save that one. But this one is coded a little bit different. So, okay, so I just right clicked and then I went inspect. So right click on your screen, go to inspect, and then you're gonna see this code here, all right? So all I'm gonna do here is copy this. If you know any other ways to do this, let me know, but this is a pretty simple way to do it. So I just copied or right clicked copy and then copy element and then it's copying everything within here so that see this is an svg file that's an svg file and this is the whole file in there it's a pretty simple svg it's just a couple lines but you could do really complex ones as well okay so let's close this out we already copied it and then i'm going to open up just open up a uh, a code editor and then paste that in so now that SVG is in your code editor, this is an open source code editor called Notepad++, and I'll also put a link in there for that. But if you're using any other ones like Atom or, or uh, Visual Code or any of those other ones, you can use that, or you can even use Notepad. Uh, okay, so I have this in here. Now I'm gonna save this file. Now I'm just gonna save it to my downloads real quick. So I'm just going to say, just name it menu dot SVG. You have to put dot SVG to save it as an SVG file in here. Even though it says SVG in there, uh, it's going to save it as a text file if you don't put this, if you don't prepend that onto the title. Okay, so save. Now you could see it's, it's highlighted that uh, Notepad knows it's an SVG file, so it's highlighting pieces. So let's uh, close this down. And then I'm gonna open up Inkscape. Give it one second. Okay. Now I have the Inkscape file. And if this works properly, I should be able to get this, this menu item within, uh, within Inkscape. So I'm gonna go to File on Inkscape and then Open. And then I'll find the Downloads folder. If I can locate this. Yeah. And then I'll just double click Menu. Now, if you take a look, I have that SVG in here. And uh, I'll just give you a couple ideas on how you can tweak this. So in Inkscape, or, um, Illustrator is going to be a little bit different. Uh, if I just select these or if I select my uh, Edit by Paths node tool, I can select these nodes and I can do whatever I want with it. And this is the actual element from the site. Now this is the, the artboard that it's on. Note if you export an SVG, just to give you a little background on SVGs, if, if I pulled this out of that this line right here and then I try to save the SVG, it would crop that out. It's only going to show what's inside this artboard. And uh, note that was my, one of my sites that I pulled the SVG from. I don't recommend doing this on other people's sites and pulling their SVGs. But for instance, if you if you saved a logo on your website and you couldn't locate the file and it was an SVG, for instance, that's what we, like this is an SVG that we're using. The, the benefit of an SVG, if you don't know, is it, it makes really clean uh, graphics. So if you have a saved SVG, it'll actually trace out nodes. So like you're seeing Inkscape where I can, when I select this, I can see all the points. 
Now that's what uh, your browser's doing. It can see all those points. So it makes it really crisp and clear. If I was using a PNG or a JPEG or something for this, it would be kind of clunky looking. So this makes it really clean using an SVG. Okay. So I hope this video helped and uh, let me know if you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you uh, have a request for another video, let me know and I can make one of those. Okay. I hope this helped and I'll see you next time.